Now again, we know what dinosaurs are, as apart from um, the last documentary video. But carnivores, they're pretty ferocious. But there's one other type of dinosaur that we're kind of leaving out. Herbivores. Now we know herbivore dinosaurs are known to be pretty friendly creatures as long as you don't disturb them. But trust me, there's a lot of herbivores that have walked through this planet that have the most dangerous we weapons of, of all time. So yes, we'll be discovering of who or what these herbivores are, and of course what their weapons are and what they're capable of. So let's go on this adventure and see of how deadly herbivores really are. So let's first go into the forest and hills. And let's look at this two horned herbivore. A NASA Ceratops. And yes, no, not a Triceratops. A triceratops has three horns on its head. This is a NASA Ceratops, also known as Thick Nose. Because, well, it only has two horns and its nose it seems big, right? A large sized herbivore, which all of the medium and small sized carnivore dinosaurs would probably stay away from them. Of course, bigger dinosaurs can probably eat them. Yes, we, we know when the Mega Raptor last episode killed a Nosoceratops, but Mega Raptors are very ferocious. Other dinosaurs Nosoceratops can handle, trust me. Oh, just like this prey predator that's coming along. Ragosaurus, a medium-sized carnivore, looking for a meal. The Nociceratops waving his head in frill is a, just an aggressive way of saying, Get out, you don't want to mess with me. But this Ragosaurus is hungry, he'd do anything to get a meal. Looks like Rachosaurus is dominating the Nasoceratops, but it takes one of those giant horns to, to stab, and it's over. Ratchosaurus has those sharp teeth and speed, but Nasoceratops has those two sharp horns and strength. It's time to have the final charging duel. Ceratops managed to get a direct stab on the Rajasaurus. Ceratops won, with the Rajasaurus very furious, and just for the Nociceratops to show his dominance, with two giant horns, 
next will, with some oversized strength. This makes Nociceratops a very ferocious, me medium sized her herbivore. So, medium and small sized cotton carnivores would stay away from Nociceratops. But there is other, bigger carnivores that would take Nociceratops for a snack, leaving Nociceratops to run for his life. Carnotaurus, known as the meat eating bull. Since Carnotaur is too big for Nociceratops to handle, Nociceratops has his own way of, of escaping large predators. Just watch. Yep, just like that. Just has to just have to distract and run. And so, Nociceratops can live his life at grazing the grass again. Wow. Now, now that is one two-horned ferocious herbivore, huh? Well, this is only one, it's probably the top three dangerous herbivore. Let's look at... Another smaller, but still dangerous, herbivore. So let's go to the forest and mountains and see what this other smaller herbivore is, shall we? A Pachycephalosaurus. Also known as a thick-headed lizard. It's a small, if not called a medium-sized herbivore, at about 20 feet long. We saw last episode that Packies don't do so well when they're outnumbered. But there is some small and medium sized carnivores that, that they can defend against by bashing that big head of theirs. But of course, just like the Nasoceratops, there is bigger predators that the Packy can't really defend against. A Sukumimus looking for a little snack. But Sukumimus isn't exactly, well, a speedy one, huh? It helps to have a defensive weapon and to, to be small and, and speedy. Unlike the other herbivores. Just like the other herbivores, the Paki also likes to graze on grass and eating bushes. But as long but when you cross a Paki's territory, you might be up for a little bit of a bash, if you know what I mean. Use their they would use their weapon for intruders, predators, or just different animals and dinosaurs uh, that could potentially eat them. Another smaller, medium-sized Spinosaurid, similar to Sukumimus. Baryonyx. But this is one of the types of predators that Paki can defend against. But also, one of the types of herbivores that Baryonyx can also hunt. 
they are on the other side of the forest. So the Pachycephalosaurus is cornered. So the Pachy just has to get past the Baryonyx without being eaten, of course. Takes one good bash from that giant skull, and the Baryonyx is done. But it takes one good bite from the Baryonyx, and the Pachy is done for. He's able to stun the Baryonyx with a bash to the head. But when the Packy tries to make his escape, In this situation, the Packy and the Baryonyx are both speedy herbivores and speedy predators. Finally, the Packy gets a good hit, and the Packy's able to make his escape. But the Packy isn't the only speedy dinosaur. Remember the Sukumimus? Yeah, he's back. It's a Spinosaurid versus a Spinosaurid. The Packy takes this trips to make it escape until
again, the Pachycephalosaurus takes another chance to make another escape. When the Sukumimus wins the fight, he takes his chance to get a meal. The Sukumimus loses a meal again. But at least he won the fight. So of course with with a couple of good bashing hits, the Paki is able to escape the Sukumimus again. But the Paki escapes with a swim with a scratch from a good bite from the Baryonyx. But it'll but it'll fully heal in a couple of days. So now the Paki can can go hide. And, and, and eat on on all the trees and bush, bushes he wants. Wow. Now, even though that's one of the more smaller herbivores, still a pretty dangerous one, huh? But we still got two more bigger herbivores to show you. So let's go, shall we? So let's go to the bushiest forest and jungle there is. You want to know why this herbivore has to live in bushy jungles and trees like this? I'll show you. So let's see this herbivore, shall we? A Therizinosaurus, also known as a scythe lizard. Now, as you can see, this is definitely one of the dinosaurs that remind us of modern day birds. But there is a lot of things that make them different from modern day birds too. For example, Therizinosaurus has gigantic claws which it uses to de defend itself. From predators that might want to hurt it or eat it. But Therizinosauruses are also known as being very territorial. If they catch you in their territory, the Therizinosaurus might kill it. And so, that is a little bit bad for this carnivore that's coming along. The Thera doesn't know, but there's an Oberus behind it. As I said, this theory is a bit mad to find this carnivore in this territory. And so... No, of course, the theory wants Albertosaurus to get out of its territory. But this Albertosaurus doesn't want to eat the, the theory. He has a different purpose. He's very thirsty and there's a river on the other side of Thary's territory. If he wants to get to that river, he has to get past the territory. But that won't but that won't be too easy, huh? And so the only way to get past is to fight back. Remember, it takes one good stab from those huge claws, and the Albertosaurus is done for. Luckily, this Albertosaurus has tough armor, but that won't protect them for too long from, from those sharp claws.
Now, this Therizinosaurus is stronger than, than this Abertosaurus. But the Abertosaurus just has to get past the, the ferry to, to get to the river. But every single time the Abertosaurus tries to get up, the Therizinosaurus just easily takes it down. Remember, the Abortosaurus just has to, to take down the Therizinosaurus long enough to e escape. Well, the Cerithinosaurus is stronger, but the Albertosaurus is faster. As Abernosaurus finally takes the Therizinosaurus down long enough, he makes his escape. The Abernosaurus got away, which leaves a very mad Therizinosaurus. But at least the Abertosaurus didn't want to eat the fairy or, or its beloved trees. So yes, sharp claws, mo monstrous size, sharp beak, makes it a pretty defensive and aggressive herbivore. But of course, dinosaurs are T-Rex. Th trust me, fairy doesn't stand a chance. But other dinosaurs like Abertosaurus need to stay away from this dangerous herbivore.
Jeez, and we say that carnivores are, are, are the, the dino villains, huh? Well, but we just have this one more herbivore to show you. A pretty big one, too, you know what I mean? So let's go into some more forest. Foresty fields, I should say. Similar to the Nociceratops, but this is a very different and a pretty big herbivore. Let's go see what it is, shall we? Uh. A stegosaurus. Means roofed in the lizard, named because of his plates on his back. The reason why this is also a dangerous herbivore is mostly that sharp tail at the back. Stegosaurus might not be an intelligent dinosaur, but sure is a dangerous one. It takes one giant whack of that tail, and you might die in one hit, to be honest. Now, there is dinosaurs that stegosaurs can't fight against, as we've seen with, with all the other herbivores. But, with medium-sized carnivores, no, no medium-sized carnivore would, would ever mess with, with this herbivore. Just like the Baryonyx. The Stegosaurus is, is able to, to use his body weight and his tail to, to fight predators. The Baryonyx goes to find an, uh, another meal. Well, that was fast. Yes, the, the Stegosaurus is a pretty dangerous herbivore. What, what do you think? But there is other medium-sized carnivores that might be a challenge for Stegosaurus. Just like the one and only Siamosaurus, another type of Spinosaurus looking for a meal. But this Stegosaurus isn't going down without a fight. The only problem is that the Stegosaurus is one of the more unintelligent herbivores. Remember, it takes one giant whack in that with that tail in the si in the Siamosaurus and done for. But it also takes one good bite on Stegosaurus head and the Stegosaurus is done for. The Siamosaurus has taken down the Stegosaurus. But the Stegosaurus isn't finished yet.
seems like the Stego has won. But the Siamosaurus isn't finished yet. Took that one giant whack. The Cyanosaurus is lucky he, he didn't die. He's lucky he was able to get out alive. You know, just like all the other herbivores, the Stegosaurus is able to, to munch on on grass again. But it looks like the Siamosaur is back. But it's not because the Siamosaur wants a meal. Something wants the Siamosaur as a meal. One of Stegosaurus' biggest enemies. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's a sub-adult, not a full-grown adult, but it can still break the Stegosaurus' neck with one bite. No matter what predator, the Stego isn't going out without a fight. Remember, it takes one giant bite from that rat. The Stego is lucky that he didn't die. The Stegosaurus was putting up a good fight. But he's no match for the king. After Rex was about to have his meal, he sensed something else coming. But the question is, what is it? I'll tell you what, what it is. It's help. Even all together, it was going to be a challenge. Wow. 
The T Rex has tired and injured all the other herbivores. Even more help came. The T Rex fought as much as it could but it couldn't handle being outnumbered. The T-Rex did decide that he was gonna look for an easier meal and he might die if he keeps on fighting. As we saw, there's a lot of bigger predators that that can harm herbivores. But it, that's why herbivores stick in a herd, so then they can de de defend each other. It's called safety in numbers. And yes, even a Therizinosaurus can be a part of a herd. And so, the herd are all gonna travel, safety in numbers. So, herbivores aren't really ferocious. They're just defending themselves. Wow, that is one heck of a tail. But there is, as you saw, bigger predators. So that's why all herbivores have to stick in a herd. Well, there you have it. The top four most deadliest and ferocious herbivores of all time. Now we remember. I'm describing me, these dinosaurs, as ferocious and dangerous. But they just have to be ferocious and dangerous. To defend from predators, I might want to eat them. So, just like the last documentary, I hope you learn something from from this whole long documentary. Well, this is where it comes to an end. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next video, which might be a documentary or not. But see you in the next video and. Leave a comment of what your favorite herbivore is and which one you thought were the deadliest. Well, bye everyone, and see you next video.